Okay, so gonna be showing off my work in progress mod for Stardew. It is called the Goth Friendly Mod. Um, here's my little cursor that I just made. And loading in. All right, okay. All right, first of all, let's up our speed because I can't stand walking slow. All right, so we got a number of things. Oh, we can look at the magnifying glass right here. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. Um, we got our husband, Sebastian. I got the, the poly mod, too, so I can marry more than one person. Here's our gift, our gift cursor. A little squished gift box. It looks pretty cute. Um, let's see. There's a little, um, talk to them thing. Go make us some money. Shut up and kiss me. <laughs> okay, let's skip this cutscene. Okay, um, so I was checking out the emotes, but unfortunately they're not uh, fully implemented yet because I need to find where the little bubble things are and then I could edit them, so... Ugh, thought they were gonna be the same thing. Okay, anyways, um, here's a little plus. A little plus for, like, crops being ready and such. Um, the little hand. <laughs> Alright, let's teleport to uh, Pierre's, and yeah, I have uh, the cheats mod. Okay, so I did the calendar. It's looking good so far. <laughs> um, I might, uh, I might see if I can figure out how to change uh, the color of that text, but it's, it's not too bad as is. Oh, here's the little magnifying glass. It's pretty cute. It looks a little long. <laughs> um, and we have this. Um, it still needs work a little bit, like uh, the button and the text, because um, it obviously is wonky. Um, so we have this little art right here. I made that to myself, and I made the little Joja stickers. This is pretty funny. <laughs> Take that, Pierre. And here's just an edit of the art that was there. I added some bats and some hearts because um, we love rain. <laughs> uh, we got a little um, thing of Bell House right here, all blurred out and um, pretty mangled because <laughs> I don't know if that would be an issue me having that. And there were stars right here and I turned them into little skulls. Unfortunately, I can't show the, the little skull because I don't know how to make the stars appear. I also turned the, the, the star drop into a little bat, and it's going to be called Goth Stamp. <laughs> so when we level up, we gotta, we're gotta we getting a Goth Stamp for our non-existent Goth card. <laughs> if I could implement a Goth card, that would be amazing, but like, I just, I, I, can't, I can't even imagine like the coding nightmare that would be. I could ask about it. Um, the fuck else can I show off? Um. There's not really a whole lot else to uh, that I can show right now. I can show Abby. Um, let's see. Time. Let's go take a look at Abby. Oh, and yeah, this pack, uh, we're turning a lot of um, characters like Goth and Alternative. Well, not a lot, but like some. And I'm going to like redo their portraits. Abby looking really cute. Yep, and I did like uh, her winter outfits and everything, and Sebastian's too. Oh, I'm gonna turn this into like something else, like maybe like a hookah lounge or something. Something chill, something chill, so like, you know, it's not like a fucking, you know, worship service like that, because I, yeah, not into that. <laughs> also, um, I tried to do her wallpaper, but it's obviously buggy and needs work. I will be doing uh, some work on interiors here and there. I even, um, uh, I tried to make her guinea pig black. I noticed that they added a second one, which is nice. Um, but yeah, like, uh, there's one that's gray and, like, which is fine. Actually, um, that little thing right there, like, it was brown. I think that, like, I thought that was a guinea pig, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a box I turned black. I don't know. I think it is two guinea pigs, though, which is nice. I, I know, like, it was a thing, like, saying, oh, she's an animal abuser because, you're, like, come on, man. It's just a fucking game, and it just wasn't fucking thought out. But I think they added two now, which is cool. Um, 
I really wish I could like get a star a star drop from somewhere so I could show off what it looks like. I haven't tested it myself yet, but it's gonna be so cute. Hopefully it'll work right. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I got for now. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a pretty fucking big pack, <laughs> and I, I can't wait to like um do more and like the all the the UI is gonna be changed. It's gonna be all black and spooky and gonna be great. I'll definitely do some uh, outdoor stuff too and just a whole fuckload of things and it, it's really not that hard working on it. Like um, at first I struggled with like the JSON stuff. You know it's like misplacing brackets here and there can like really fuck things up but um I think I'm getting it down so yeah it's not that bad and hopefully I'll be done with this sooner sooner rather than later. Alright thank you guys for tuning in and um as for like uploading and streaming and stuff, um, I haven't felt up to streaming lately, but like I'll, I'll always be doing content here and there and I'll get back into it eventually. Um, I'll get back into like um, doing Tomb Raider stuff and whatnot, challenge runs and stuff. But I've been more focused on Stardew lately and I do want to like uh, finish this mod as soon as I can. But yeah, thanks guys for um, hanging out and supporting me and whatnot and I will catch you next time.